butterflies. What do you think about when you see the word butterflies? Do you think about, let's see here. Do you think about the butterflies you may feel in your stomach? Or do you think about the insect? Or how many of you think about uh, the butterfly effect that you see in the chaos theory? What do you think about? Anybody? Okay. Insects in the stomach. Okay. So what I'm going to do here today is draw a connection between the insect butterflies and that natural process of having those butterflies in your stomach when you're facing challenges and adversity. So oftentimes, I'm sure that some of you can relate to having these feelings. You may feel uncomfortable. You might feel a little wheezy. Your heart rate might start increasing, right? Or, you know, one thing that's interesting, you might have a sense of fear. You might have an ostrich moment where you just want to stick your head in the hole and ignore the situation altogether, right? But I'm here to tell you that it's normal. Having these physiological feelings are normal feelings that you have, you know? You see in nature, butterflies emerge through an amazing transition. They start off as caterpillars, you know, and in order to change into a butterfly, they have to go through a process. And that process is called metamorphosis. So you think about life in comparison to metamorphosis as a series of transitions where you have to go through change in order to transition to the next level, in order to grow. So why is this important? You see, typically, through struggle, you will end up emerging into the greatest version of yourself. You see, there's a little story about caterpillars as they go through that transitionary process where they're in the inside of their cocoon and they actually have to grow and strengthen to break out of that cocoon. And if you disturb that process too early, it's highly likely that that butterfly will not emerge because through that struggle of breaking out of that cocoon, their wings begin to strengthen and that gives them the strength to blossom out into a full-fledged butterfly. So as you see, struggle is a part of that process. So you go through challenges, right? You go through that struggle, and sometimes that struggle represents growth. Because when you come out on the other side of that, you're so much stronger, and you're almost different, right? You have confidence, oftentimes. And with that confidence, you find purpose, right? Because you realize after you went over that hurdle, guess what? You did it. And now it's time to prepare for that next challenge or the next opportunity that will emerge. OK? So mentors, I'd like to speak about this briefly. Mentors oftentimes are able to recognize this process and understand. And this is where guidance kicks in, compassion, encouragement, especially in disciplines like within the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's very important for mentors to recognize this process and to be supportive and understand that as someone, especially if young students are going through growth or whether we're adults going through these changes, that it's a part of the process so that we can grow and evolve into the be best versions of ourselves. So imagine if you channel life moments into focused energy. If you took those butterflies that you're feeling inside that just give you these, this uncomfortable feeling and if you channel that you know, into something greater because you know once you come out on the other side of it, you're going to feel amazing because you will have accomplished something very important. Imagine if you focus your fears and your worries into purpose, right? You focus that fear. You look at that fear as an opportunity to get over an obstacle, and then you take that obstacle and you just run with it. You glide over it and you move forward. Imagine. If you focus worries and the fears and purpose, which is what I've just stated, pretty much, and imagine the amazing butterfly that will emerge. Again, once you go through this process, you will be a different version of yourself. You know, and I, even aside from that, you will continue to go through these processes in life where you will continue to go through these 
you'll have challenges. You turn those challenges into opportunity. You channel that fear. You emerge into a butterfly, and you fly on to the next opportunity. So I'm sharing this message with you today with purpose. And that is, if anyone out here has those butterflies, don't let those feelings, those physiological feelings, don't let that hold you back. Don't be afraid to step into opportunities. Be confident and step into those opportunities because guess what? On the other side of that, you will become the best version of yourself and grow. Thank you.